Hello everyone, welcome back to the Solomon Show. It's January 2024. It's the 21st Sunday. And I'm here in my room because my mom's outside. Uh, you know, I just had this epiphany, this thought like, you know, I'm, I, it's about basically uh, paralysis, procrastination paralysis through overanalyzing, analysis paralysis, that's what they call it. And you can't do anything productive or share your work with anyone or say anything because you're paralyzed by fear, by everyone else judging you, by your desperate need for social gratification, uh, uh, social validation. It's always about social validation. You want everyone to approve of you. You want everyone to think that you're smart. You don't want anyone to think that you have any flaws or mistakes or for them to know your weaknesses. You know, even General Sun Tzu is like, you know, when you're weak, make appear as you are strong. And when you're strong, appear as though you are weak, you know. Or stealth wealth, even, you know. If you're a rich dude, you gotta hide your money uh, and appear poor because, you know, people don't know how to behave. They see you have money, especially the girls, they're, they're just gonna start gold digging you uh, until no ends. And they're not gonna give a shit until. They, you know, all that money is gone, you know, that's just how it is. And, you know, after all the money is gone, you're going to be in your room or whatever, or you're not going to have any possessions or cash or anything, and you're going to be like, shit, what do I have left? You know, if you break everything down, what do you have left? And, you know, the woman's going to be gone because she drained your pockets, and you're going to be like, who am I? You know, and I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, you have to be able to get out of this X, Y, and Z situations. You have to be able to, you know, make your next million dollars. Uh, you know, sometimes they drop off. Sometimes millionaires test themselves. You know, they get rid of all their money and, you know, they're dropped off in some whatever place on an island and, you know, that same person will gain the wealth back through time. You know, it, it's not the money, it's the person. It's always the person, it's always the person. Now, this is an advanced level of, of mentality, of thinking, of spirituality, of, of, human, of humanity. A philosophy that most people probably have a hard time understanding on the lower level, lower ring of society, um, because you've been poor, impoverished your whole life. You've been suffering from the scarcity mindset your whole life. You know, you always have a sense of urgency to fight and kill each other for a dollar, but it's not that. It's it's the person. It's the person. It's the personality. It's the you know, how much value does this person provide to not only himself, but the other people around him? You know, people can identify who the leader is, not because they have the biggest mouth, but by their actions, how they conduct themselves, how they behave, you know, how they present themselves to the world. And this, this has always been. Um, some better leaders than others but you know you just have to be good enough you know to get a, a, a small following um, you know if you're playing video games and watching porn um, that translates just that, that doesn't doesn't translate well it never has um, you know but men still do it because it's fun. Um, that's fine. I, you know, at the age of 39, I'm coming to realize that. So I'm trying to save myself here. 
I'm trying to save myself. Some some men were programmed differently. Uh, Muslims, they pray three times a day. Um, you know, they avoid drugs and alcohol, you know, because of their religion and their spirituality. And that's just the meta, the meta practice. Um, And do they have it right? Uh, for a s sustainable uh, living and for your, you know, and, and for sustainable living, yes, 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 definitely, definitely. You know, that way you won't go homeless, you know, and start doing weird shit and returning back to your vices. So, you know, is, is the ultimate religion like Muslim? I, I'm not... I'm not saying that, but, you know, they have some very smart, you know, intelligent practices. Um, you know, Christian, you could just do whatever the hell you want, except you have to go to, like, church on Sundays, basically. And that's a great way to be a degenerate, because you're just, like, doing it once out of seven days a week, you know, what are you doing all other six days? You could be watching porn, playing video games, which definitely happens. And, you know, all kinds of weird shit, you know, all kinds of degeneracy. And that's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying, if you had to face a life situation which way would you adopt that would prevent you from you know heading towards catastrophe like being a homeless you know which religion you know which ideology which way would you choose you know to benefit you it would be something that looks like a Muslim um, I'm Asian I'm Chinese China has Muslim population I was never influenced by any uh, religion other than Christianity, maybe Buddhism, but not, none of which has like strict practices. Like life is suffering. Like what? We all, we all get that shit, you know. Not, none of which emphasizes on anything like meditation or prayers. Like you could do that shit if you want, you know. But there was no strict code about it, you know. In America, of course, people don't want to follow any strict religious code. You know, this, they just go out all out savage. You know, whatever. A lot of times, I'm just like, whatever works, just don't be a homeless. Right now, I'm trying to do the hardest thing I can, and that's meditating. So... You know, with that said, just breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose. And out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe into your nose and out through your mouth.
Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So I've been doing that. And we're gonna end this, end it from there. I had these like black back flashes when I was a kid in New New York City. My aunt had the dojo in uh, Midtown, and this is when I was about in seventh or eighth grade. My mom dropped me off for the week to stay with my aunt. You know. And she ran the dojos. It was a beautiful 10,000 square foot, like first, second floor uh, building. And the days would just go by, and I'm just like, I'm just trying to not be there, you know. I just wanted to, I was on the computer trying to download Sim Ant and just, you know doing anything possible just to not be there <clears throat> mentally and this, this was before this was like in the 90s late, later 90s I was still a kid you know I couldn't go out and you know I saw older men going, going to the gym at like 1 or 2 o'clock and you know they would be from Wall Street and stuff and they're just like oh so this is what a man looks like you know a lot of them were super aggressive or a lot of them were they got fat working on Wall Street and you know they were money hungry and now now they need to like work on their health and stuff and I'm just thinking like huh what in the God's name so like I was a kid back then and you know I didn't have some like ambition or drive to be working out with punching bags and, and weights and and be Mike Tyson Jr. I, I, I just didn't have a passion for it. I'm just like you know I feel kind of out of place I'm like literally just too young to be there I don't know why guys would want to be doing this stuff um, be training. I, I, I don't know why guys would want to be training in the first place. It's only after you uh, come to these, uh, uh, it's only until you after you've lived that you come to realization that these things are important. Uh, perhaps you, you needed martial arts on the subway you know, you got hoodwinked, you know, some kind of weird social situation, you were at the bar, you were trying to pick up a girl, didn't go right, you know, other dudes were attacking you, you know, whichever asshole guy was the most dominant, got to take home the girl, you know, and then you wanted to be like him, or whatever, or you just wanted to protect your own girl, um, having brought the girl in to the bar, or whatever social scenario, all these kind of different scenarios but why would you want to be that guy who trains in the first place um, just as I told you you know you just don't know the value of something until it's too late you know what if you're you know a minority maybe you have brown skin black and you know it's 9-11 it's and you need to defend yourself against you know racists and you know you don't know what to do all you know how to do is this and and you know but you know you want to be like neo in the matrix you know we're at that point you know it's too late it's too late if you didn't go to uh um, you know martial arts you know basic training or been doing it every week for whatever reason just for that one moment you know in time then you're absolutely fucked uh you know it's game over and it's it's always it's always this you know men are training for that one brief moment in time when they do need to be neo 
or Bruce Lee or whoever and you have to save yourself protect yourself from danger um, you know hopefully you don't need to go through that level of trauma before you realize the value of these kinds of things of uh, training and preparation you know same goes especially with kids uh, you know and a lot of guys you know get married and have kids again they don't have training you know getting being with a woman you know dealing with periods dealing with you know bipolar disorder you know or they themselves have it you know or their kid has it it's just like no one's trained no one was taught this you know kids were only taught you know biology you know algebra you know they, they don't know what to do with these with their emotions emotional intelligence they don't know how to, not even boundaries not even setting up boundaries just to tell people no uh, for those Chad's and Tyrone's who do you know have do get women pregnant at an early age have or women who have several different you know different baby daddies or if you're a guy and you have several different baby mamas and you owe child support, like, how the fuck do you get out of that situation? I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm not going to go there. You know, it's just, it's just crazy to me. But, yeah. Even right now, I'm, I'm protecting myself from, like, anyone else's energy. Like, like, if I got this girlfriend and got her pregnant, then, you know, three hellspawn come out, like, I'm fucked. You know, all the hours that I, that I work at work, you know, go to, to them, you know. When do I have my happy time? I have time to be making these YouTube videos for you. And my, some people may interpret it as I'm talking shit. I, you know, how else would, you know, people be born in the world? How, how would I be having YouTube view, viewers? You know, maybe, maybe some poor kid is out there able to connect with me but I'm telling you the secrets right now um, you know no no one's gonna save you. you you have to develop yourself and I learned I learned the hard way um, you know you have to be that guy that goes to the gym you can't be that guy that plays video games and watches porn you just can't your social skills deteriorate yeah you're you know Just, just, um, you know, your posture deteriorates over time, you know, and you're like, I don't care, I'm making money and shit on the stock market in the virtual world with Bitcoin. That's cool too, but, you know, but at, at some point you, you'd want to go out, you know, if everyone sees you and, and you're the hunchback of Notre Dame and, you know, you're fucked. Um, you know, so you know, I had to keep that in mind for myself as well. So you know, if I was writing in an ancient scroll somewhere, you know, don't be a douchebag. You know, don't take life for granted. Don't take your time for granted. You know, don't take your parents for granted. You know, use your time to train yourself. Be the warrior in the garden, kind of stuff. You know, you want to be prepared, even if you are, you know, you want to be the most jacked person. You know, even if you live in your mom's house, you know, you know how to protect your house and stuff. You know, who to call for the plumbing or electricity. You know, you can do that yourself and stuff. Just be the most jacked person there. And this can translate to a job. Um, I actually was in a nursing home doing a mobile x-rays. I found a guy, uh, an older guy, he said he he was a Green Beret or a Marine, one of those in, in uh, Vietnam, and uh, he jumped out of uh, planes, you know, several hundred times, and that's cool, but now he's like the janitor guy at, at the, in the old folks' homes, and I'm just like, 
job security. You know, he's just a very valuable man to have around, and so they pay him. Um, I believe it, he was like, I don't know how I know, but it was like $90,000, at least $90,000 for just doing janitorial work and being a handyman in an elderly home in his older years, which is pretty good. How a young girl in America wants a guy who's six feet tall and making $200,000 minimum right after college a year I, I I don't know how that works but you know but you know in, in for normal people yeah that's pretty good ninety thousand dollars a year is pretty good and knowing how to do the work and just having something to do and providing value for your community or your job that's great that's a, that's a great you know sense of um, of integrity and self-esteem Hopefully you'll realize these things sooner than later. Um, you know, if you're mature right now, that's great. If you're 16 and you know these things, that's great. If you're 16 or 18 and you're not playing video games and watching porn and doing all the stupid shit, then that's great. Um, you know, again, back to the religion thing. Some some kids have it probably like more ingrained to them because they had these re religious stuff going on like Muslim like you had to pray for three three uh, like three times a day which I've encountered in college there, there was no YouTube you know there it's just you know and they went to college it's just like I know they're not going to be homeless um, in the future because they have that work ethic down you know and that's what's up you know Somewhere along the way, we thought it was okay to watch porn and play video games, you know. But if if you're, like, in, you know, if it boils down to it, and your life was dependent on it, would you play, be playing video games and watching porn? Absolutely not. You would want to do the, the good habits, uh, meditating, reading you know, school or wherever it is. As long as you don't deviate from there, you'll be okay and you won't be a homeless. Um, sometimes I, I worry about, you know, homeless people. I Sometimes I worry about myself being a homeless person. How, how the fuck did they get there in the first place? You know, I just told you with all these bad habits. 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 As opposed to living more, this more like Muslim kind of like disciplined lifestyle where you're praying praying three times a day or maybe your thing is working out three times a day and eating three six micro meals a day to keep up your protein for your bodybuilding or whatever so it's all about discipline and building good habits over the long run and having sustainable dopamine levels as opposed to you know just doing all this instant gratification shit And hopefully you realize that sooner than later. And a lot of people will fall to the trap of instant gratification, porn, video games, drugs, alcohol, whatever, whatever, whatever it will be. I'm 39 now, so I don't look like some fat, aged, bald, white guy, um, because I maintained myself. You know, or you can have. You know, quite the opposite, you know. You know, I'm not hating on anyone, but that's just how the human physiology works. If you abuse your body, it shows. Um, you know, I have this going for me. I'm going to maintain it. If I were to just be a degenerate, I, my body would quickly realize it. Um... Of course, there are extremes, and either or can hurt you. And I, I don't, I don't, I'm not telling anyone to be gently, or whatever, or no, or take steroids or whatever. I'm not saying that. Just be somewhere in between. So that's my two cents. That's the time that I have. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you go to work, make money, do all that other stuff. Avoid the bad habits. Do the good habits. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe. 
if you got any uh, value out of this. Peace out. Don't be a homeless. <laughs>